I don't just read a lot of historical books and especially primary sources. What I do is kind of read into them. So reading uh, is a huge part of not just my research, but how I do my work uh, and writing a lot about historical figures, especially people from the 19th century and before when people were maybe a little more buttoned up or they weren't quite as, you know, truth, truthful or share too much personal information the way everyone seems to do now, especially with the internet. A lot of what I do is read old diaries and, and letters and try and read into what they're actually saying. I spent the first 11 years of my life in a town that was so small it had no library. Then when I was 11, my family moved to this college town in Montana. And not only, because I grew up on a dirt road, uh, and then I moved to this college town that has a library and sidewalks and so the first summer I lived in this town my twin sister and I we roller skated to the library every day because we couldn't believe our luck that now we lived in a town that had a library and sidewalks so uh, the, that first summer I, I lived in that new town it's still it's still probably the my favorite summer of my entire life because I felt like I just had this new life where I could you know I could live in a town with a library and roller skate around and I had all this freedom that I had never had before. I was one of these kids who I would skip school to go to the library, <laughs> you know, because it was a real refuge as, as a place. Um, so I don't really even understand what it would be like to not go to the library. Mm -hmm.